A medical doctor recently asked why seismologists, with all their modern tools, can't predict earthquakes. What if he, also a scientist, considers predicting the heart attack of an obese 50-year-old smoker with a family history of heart disease and high blood pressure? By using the patient's history, lab data, and stress factors, cardiologists can generate a probability for having a heart attack by a certain age, but they cannot predict the date, location, or magnitude of the attack. And then there's the healthy young patient with none of the previous known risk factors who suddenly has a heart attack. Earthquakes can also be seemingly unexpected. Seismologists would love to be able to predict a major earthquake. However, they can't define a specific time, location, and magnitude of an earthquake, which are all required for a prediction. By using a wide array of monitoring techniques, incorporating new data on active faults, and gaining an improved scientific understanding of how faults rupture, seismologists are able to narrow down the probabilities and thus forecast the likelihood of a quake in an area within the next so many years. From those long-term rates, human risk can be assessed by taking into account hazards due to population density, man-made structures, weak building materials, and more. Rather than trying to accomplish short-term predictions, the USGS focuses its efforts on long-term mitigation of earthquake hazards. 